Potathon 5 voiceover. Uh, no, not voiceover roll. Link roll! As Funky Monkey. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on! Wait! That, that's something I could do. That's an effect! But let's continue on anyway. And really, this small exchange is all you really need to know about this film. Two really. And it takes 14 muscles to smile, but wrinkles exist where smiles have been. Well, they could forgive him, balloon gets expelled. Expelled? Well, they could forgive him ballooning his aunt in year three. So why can they not forgive a selfless act of him saving his cousin? The answer will shock you. Oh my god. It's in my eyes today. Mm. Anger. A name that I will curse to the head. A name that I will fail to pronounce. You are not nearly as innocent as your pink and kitten. Oh, we're doing so well, too. Let's, uh, well, let's not go into the connotations of that. Yikes. My heart goes out to all who fall in the line of duty. I myself have lost too many to count this way. Oh, the stories I could tell. For he survives this sneak, sneaky snake attack. For shame, Dolores, for shame. I think I might, uh fuzz it and smear it so it comes out of the ring like See if I can get a lens flare effect on it. That concludes five. Bigger. Big enough. Drag the one good you lens. And put a comb through that dreadfully messy bone of yours. Because we are about to meet the Half-Blood Prince. And I'm quite sure that in the dark and restrictive times of the 1950s, being different had an altogether different meaning. A gentleman of great character and a real force of something. And an endless fount of wonder after Dolores Umbridge. A gentleman of great character and after Dolores Umbridge, anything's a breath of fresh air. I go past the See, now that's going to be running underneath it on the blooper reel now. I could not say that I have ever lost the... could not say that I have ever lost my home. <laughs> A moment for Albus Dumbledore. Again. And that's it for six. Bigger. Bigger. I am the one who is known as Funky Monkey, and I've forgotten the rest of that line. And get ready to get real. Though. Grab your wand and your bag of provisions and get ready to get real as we face the beginning of the end. Oh boy. Three seemingly useless items. And yet I dare say their usefulness will become apparent over time. Some ministry hag, eh? Might you have a clue who our Mr. Fletcher was referring to? <sighs> and one mustn't tell lies. One must also not script. Kick it and tell you in front of camera. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of the ironic echo from year five. And my best to tvtropes.org. In short, Three Wizard Brothers bridged a river, cheating death. Death, feeling cheated, pretended to congratulate these wizards with three powerful items. A mighty wand of elderwood, a stone that would resurrect the dead, and a cloak of invisibility that would never become visible. Naturally, this being death, these had a sting in the tail. So now you know. And knowing is half the wizarding battle. Wizard Force! Or something. Powerful indeed they are in the magics. Why, I remember leading a squad of field elves into battle against invading trolls. Yes, trolls actually band together and are organised. You'd be surprised. 
Not so easily do you count out a house elf, my muggle friend. Okay. And that's put us on seven. Bigger. Bigger. Seven days have come and gone again, my muggle friends. The time has come, the work is done. This day we reach the end. Welcome one and all. I remain your humble host, the one known as Funky Monkey, and today we bring an end to the tale of Harry Potter as we investigate the Deathly Hallows Part 2. As we have seen the Munda... My heavens! Luna Lovegood has reached her breaking point. I didn't even know she had one. Link roll take two. That was a big one. Seven days have come and gone again, my muggle friends. And I've forgotten the rest of the line. And haven't gotten to the end. Pickups. Of which there are not that many. Desperate times indeed. Seen the never long from seen stealing Defender of Righteousness with Richard, which is where we got to last time before they got back. Why is it not with me? I know, I know. Because I'm supposed to be comic relief. We a tragic background. That's more Macclesfield than just Northern. I use that word so much and I probably can't even spell it. I'll have to look it up. It was Severus Snape that had always loved Lily Allen's. Lily Allen's? Lily Evans. And the feeling was mutiful. And I was doing so well too. All of which is in the books. Now can we move on? Our hero himself is a whole crux. <sighs> Mad Andy was unavailable for comment. Damn anti archio enchantments. What does he think I'm gonna do with him? Last for the pickups and back onto the script. Right. That's it. That's the end of it. 